This video is about the topic on torsion. Uh, can you picture? Torsion is a twist na. Na twist yung one. Yung neck. Torsion has something to do with twisting. So in many engineering applications, members are required to carry torsional loads. So aside to axial loads or bending loads, we also have torsional loads. In this chapter, uh, we consider the torsion of circular shafts. Uh, sa mga construction sa shaft, they are pinaka the easier one to analyze is circular shaft. Under the sections, if ever na uh, like square, uh, very complex ang analysis. So, sa circular shaft, medyo dili tayo sa lesson. Because a circular cross-section is an efficient shape for resisting torsional loads. Circular shafts are commonly used to transmit power in rotating machinery. Uh, like a hydroelectric power plant, nice shaft they have, uh, to drive the turbine para makagenerate o power. So, torsion is our introduction to problems in which the stress is not uniform. Kaya yung previous na ta na discussion for axial uniform into stress. Uniform meaning anywhere sa member equal ra ang stress. So, dili kay if a point is near the near the load, mas dako ay yung stress. Kung yung farther from the load, mas gama ay yung stress. Dili. No? It was not the case in axial stress kay the formula is P over A rin to. So, wala yung location din to. Regardless sa location, same ra of stress. So, uniform to. This time, sa torsion, dili na siya uniform. So, dependent na siya sa location sa point or element or fiber. Dependent. So, mag-vary ang value sa torsional stress. So, Illustration, the figure shows the reformation of a circular shaft that is subjected to a twisting couple, T. To visualize the deformation, we describe the straight line AB on the surface of the shaft before the torque is applied. And after loading, this line deforms into the helix AB prime as the free end of the shaft rotates through the angle theta. So, yan, isa, initially, natay line ni EB, straight na yan. Pag apply sa torque na T, ang point B will be moved to another point B prime. And, narotate siya by an angle of theta. And, initially, kinihing mong straight line ni EB, mahimo na siyang helix. So, obvious na ang length aning EB prime is bigger than AB. Uh, diba? So, ang change in length ana mo na iyang elongation, deformation ba? And, makuha na to ang strain and everything. And, para masimplify, makuha na to ang expression sa angle of twist so after all considerations pagkuha sa deformation and then shear strain and then Hooke's law application of Hooke's law and then natin tahan eh summarize na expression na to or final expression sa angle of twist o ang derivation na niya gikan sa elongation and then shear strain and then Hooke's law, which states that stress is proportional to strain. So, same also sa axial, di ba? And money ato expression sa angle of twist, TL over GG. Now, if you will compare this one to actual deformation na PL over AA, they are quite similar, di ba? PL over AA, TL over GG. 
Ayan. Oh, so instead na P, instead na force torque ang sa kinay angle of twist. L, the same, instead na cross-sectional area, polar moment of inertia, and then instead of modulus of elasticity, modulus of rigidity. Siya. So, and if, if you will use, um, if, you have, if your units are consistent, like for SI, all forces must be in newtons, and then units of length must be in millimeters, units will be cancelled out. So, ang, ang resulta, ang unit ani will be in radians. And then, i-convert na da yun. And then, add in kay value in degrees. So, money ang element sa uh, angle of twist. Property ni siya? Sa material. So, given. Polar moment of inertia. Uh, we have formulas. Ay, okay. uh, polar moment of inertia of circular areas for a solid shaft and for a hollow shaft. These are the formulas for moment of inertia. A uh, polar moment of inertia. If you want to derive, you can do so. We all know from statics that polar moment of inertia. Is the sum of the moment of inertia with respect to x and the moment of inertia with respect to y. Uh, I-add to ni mong duha ka values. Muna yung result. Polar moment of inertia. Kung dili ka gusto mag-derive, you can just memorize it. Okay. To compute for the stress, shear stress, uh, let's consider this one. This is the cross-section of the shaft. And money ang radius sa shaft. And kaning raw da yun? Distance of any fiber from the center. Okay? So, by the way, ang kategory sa stress sa uh, shaft, shear siya because kung excessive kayo ang angle of twist ni mo, paspas ang rotation niya, Mag shear off na siya, mag bulag daw. Mga niya shearing niya. Tao ang symbol sa stress. Shear man. Okay, maski unsa ka dako ang imong torque, um, the shaft will not elongate or will not be shortened. Instead, na makuhaan siya. Kung mag shear off siya, mag bulag daw. So, the formula... For stress is this one. TR over a T rho over J. And more ng variable stress ya because the stress is dependent on rho. So the smaller the value of rho, the smaller the value of stress. So based sa cross-section, kung nasa center, zero ang stress. Because obviously, uh, ang fiber ani nga nasa center, di lang siya matwist. Uh, it will remain on its place, yeah? on on uh, position. Di siya matuyok, di siya matwist. Uh, um, ang pinakadako na yun, the maximum one is sa pinaka outermost na fiber, where rho is equal to r. Uh, pinakadako na angle na matwist. Uh, pinakadako na value of Angle of this is nasa outermost na fiber. Okay, so kana T max is uh, tau max is TR over J. And if you want a simplified na simplified formula for a solid shaft and a hollow shaft, you can just replace J by Katong formula kaganina for solid and hollow shaft. And then, money ang simplified na formula na yun. Example, for a solid shaft, in terms of R, J is pi R to the fourth over 2. So, if you will replace J by pi R to the fourth over 2, ang 2 is matransfer sa numerator. 
This one. Tapos, pi r to the fourth man. Makancel lang siya ka r. R cube na lang. Ano niya? Uh, so, just memorize it. For a solid shaft or a hollow shaft. So, procedure for solving statically indeterminate torsion problems is similar to the steps for actually loaded bars. So, if you recall sa actually loaded bars, pag statically indeterminate, it means na dili enough ang equations of equilibrium para ma-solve a problem. And so, therefore, we need compatibility equations as our additional as an additional condition ba nga pwede nyo magamit para ma-solve ang unknown sa problem so first step is you draw the required free body diagrams and then write the equations of equilibrium after that derive the compatibility equations from the restrictions imposed on the angles of twist. So, normally sa angle of twist gakuha o compatibility equations. And then use the torque twist relationships to express the angles of twist in the compatibility equations in terms of the torques. Mm. So, katong torque twist relationship Simplify ni Moto. Moto, makuha ni Moto ang additional equation dito tayo. Tapos, i-combine ni mo aning sa condition 1, nga equation ng equilibrium, and you will be able to solve for the unknown quantities. That will be the last part. Solve the equation ng equilibrium and compatibility for the torque. So, uh, normal ng equation, equation ng equilibrium, additional na yun ng compatibility. And my solve na tayo nimo. Okay. So, our first problem, ang first problem na to is very ni indeterminate. Determinate ni. So, kung determinate gali, you cannot solve directly the unknowns. Mawa na sa ang indeterminate. Oh. But for this one, my solve mo nimo. So, the figure shows a 2 inch diameter solid steel cylinder that is built into the support at C and subjected to the torques TA and TB. So, determine the maximum shear stresses in segments EB and BC of the cylinder. And then number two, compute the angle of rotation of end A. Use G equal to 12 times 10 to the 6 PSI for steel. Okay, so, uh, makita ni mo dire na ang torque sa A, counterclockwise. Ang torque sa B, da yun, clockwise. Di ba? Uh, pero kung analyze ni mo ni, especially kung magkuha ka ang color rotation sa A, uh, even if nakay 400 dire, but since dako kaya niya sa, ang, ang twisting dire sa CB, Dili sa clockwise. Counter, gyapon kay mas dako mo ng 900. Di ba? So, ang CB, ang rotation niya will be counterclockwise. How much more there is sa EB na sa NA, counterclockwise, gyapon. Therefore, ang angle of twist sa CB, maad po sa angle of twist sa EB kay. Same on ilang direction. Di ba? 600. Nakay 400, pero i-combine mo na doon ha, naman kay net nga torque na nga 500, which is counterclockwise. So, therefore, ang rotation ng BC, counterclockwise, yeah. uh, combining these two torques, nakay result na 500 counterclockwise man. So, ma-rotate ni siya, counterclockwise. Then, si EB, you only consider 900 man. So, counterclockwise. So, therefore, ma-add ilang angle of twist ano. Okay, but first, we will solve for the torques. Now, 
Similar na siya sa Aksal, Mukataw Siksyon, Kuwao na ito ang Resisting Talk. Okay. Now, to best analyze this one, pwede rin na inunani ang style. Parang Aksal ba? So, kining atong torque, we will make counterclockwise as tension, morang tension ba, a wave, positive. So, like this one. 900 na. And for AB, i-resist na siya, 900 po. So, positive ni siya. Positive kaya yung tension man. Kasi kaya, 900. Diba? And for BC, segment BC, na kaya 900, na kaya 400. Opposite siya. Because you consider mo na ito ni nga to the right ang counterclockwise. So, ang ang clockwise to the left. Now, key na yun, resisting man eh. So, pila may subha na 500. I-resist pa siya 500. Tensile. Diba? And pariyo sila o. Mga nang positive sila nito ha. 500 na ni. Hmm. For maximum stresses, how many formula? 16T over 5D cube. Direct substitution. Nanan maka diameter. Diba? 900, 16, 900. This pounds feet. Diba? Pounds feet. So, i-convert ni mo ang kwan. Ang feet to kwan. Ang feet. Multiply ni mo 12 para mahi mo sa inches. So, 900 pounds feet, conversion factor, pi, diameter, 2 cube. Mo na yung mong stress sa AB. For BC, eh, BC siya, sorry. For BC, 16T, 500, conversion factor from feet to inches over pi D cube. And this is, sorry ha, this is BC. And these are the maximum stresses for E, B, and B, C. Now, for the angle of rotation or angle of twist, this is the formula, T, L over J, G. Direct substitution lang. Ang T ni mo, puro positive. Diba? So, kanya. Pounds, feet, so convert to inches. 5 feet, convert again to inches. 5 feet man yung i-ib. Pi over 32 d cube, a d to the 4th, inches naman eh. And then 12 times 10 to the 6 psi. So pounds and inches na. And then for bc, 500 pounds feet, conversion. Length 3 feet, conversion. Pi over 32, D to the 4th, and then G, then 12 exponent 6, P is I. All positive, ha? So, maadya. Monya result. Radians, convert radians to degrees. You multiply of 180 over pi. And the result is 2.626 degrees. Okay. So that's it. Um, other problem. Uh, the second part, part two.